Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by the fascinating mm -hmm. Margaret McManus. I've uncovered a little bit about her. She's absolutely a fabulous lady. And we are talking today about the World Affairs Council of Hilton Head. You all are a chapter of this organization. You all have so much going on. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about your organization. And you have this fantastic speaker series coming up. Tell yes. us a little bit about your organization. Well, uh, the main part of our organization is our speaker series. And it's on Friday mornings. We have 14 speakers coming. This year our theme is deglobalization. Um, you know, the world is fracturing a little bit now. Yeah. Uh, a lot of regional organizations, trade agreements and so forth are looking as though they're crumbling. So we're going to take a look at that and see what it means in terms mm. of economic growth, uh, states' powers, et cetera. The world has changed a it lot. It is. You summed so. it up beautifully by saying everybody kind of wants their own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's kind of, kind of just wants their own thing and it's all falling apart. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. So we're going to have our speakers address that issue. Um, and in our speaker series, we have two global speakers that come to us. And this year, uh, we have a lovely woman coming from Costa Rica to talk to us about Costa Rica, small country, big ideas. So that should be fascinating. Where do you all find your speakers? Well, we have a committee that finds them. How many people are in your committee? I mean, well, you guys um, have an executive director, right? We have so yeah. much talent here in Hilton Head. Yeah. So y'all want to be a part of this organization oh, first and foremost. Absolutely. But so tell us a little bit about about the committee. And well, the committee is made up of people um, who've done various things in world affairs, um, and different jobs in our organization here. However, uh, these are people retired admirals. Uh, uh, one woman worked in Japan for years and has studied international relations for a long, long time. And you lived also, in the Far East for a long time. I, I just want to brag on you. You're so fascinating. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, the, the committee um, has contacts in different areas of the world. We have one woman on uh, the program committee. She's just fascinating, and she has all these contacts in Latin America. So she helps us get. We have a speaker coming this year to talk about Venezuela. How timely is that? Yeah, absolutely. So our speakers uh, are timely. They're usually experts in their field, and they know what we want to hear. Our audience, I should brag on our well, audience. Let's talk a little bit about that and how one can become an audience member. And okay. Um, first of all, our membership is close to 1,100 members, which I think speaks so highly of this island. That many people get together wow. to hear a speaker. Now, that's the membership number. Our average attendance at the First Presbyterian Church is around... 700 members come and hear. So a that's, speaker. That's huge. I, it is. That's huge. And that helps us get speakers. You're going to have a big audience. A big audience, exactly. And the other thing that helps us is our, our members are educated people. They keep up. They're aware of what's going on in the world. It interests them. Yeah. So when we have a speaker, we always have questions and answers. And that's the fun time. And an appropriate moderator. Yes. That, yes. I mean, that's such an important part of it. Yes. And uh, the questions, though, are always thoughtful, all thoughtful, thoughtful. on target. You know, it, it's amazing to us that there are that many people in this tiny island <laughs> that, who come are so, that come together that's and want to hear this kind I, of I'm speaker. I'm kind of blown away. Like 700 people, 1,100 mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you have some free programs? We do have some free programs. In fact, we have a summer program that's free. And uh, our next speaker will be August 19th, and it's David Lauderdale. Our theme this year for the summer program has been um, social media and newspapers in the area era of social media ah. and the digital age and, and what that means. And are they going to survive? Right. Questions like that. Right. So, um, and, your, and your your demographic has experienced the hands on paper, mm -hmm. still kind of using it, you know, oh, from the, yeah. who's tactile, right? Mm -hmm. Who's tactile yes. and who wants that? Yes. And how has it affected you, even the processing of, of looking at something online versus like the paper? That's right. You know, and so you're probably seeing a lot of, of change with people, the evolution of information processing of the exactly. human being. Exactly. So we've had good attendance at that too, and that's free. Um, so we have our speaker series, we have an evening series, series for people who work, mm. and um, uh, that involves local speakers. So much talent here. So much talent. <laughs> and so we call upon that talent, and um, 
have speakers come in and speak to us about their field of expertise. And there is a charge for that because uh, we have a dinner service with it. Sure, sure. So on the lower third here, we have your website address, mm -hmm. the World Council, the World Affairs Council of Hilton Head. Miss Margaret, thank you so much for being with us and check out this organization. It was we'll my be right, pleasure. It was my pleasure. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.